What do you think about uh, the approach of ramping up doses of TRT, let's say starting with lower dose 100 milligrams a week versus going up higher 200 milligrams a week and then trying to lower it down until you find the right dose? Right. So I, I used to have a different approach to this. Um, and I think it's always good to recognize that our approach has changed as we get new, new, new knowledge. So I used to be of the, the approach that it doesn't matter if you start high or, or, and, and work down or start low and work up. The end destination is the same. Um, so I, I used to be comfortable with people starting on 200 milligrams a week, um, 120 milligrams a week. It, it didn't really matter to me too much as long as it was consistent. Um, what I found is that for the majority of people, 200 milligrams is too much to start with. Um, it, it doesn't mean that it's going to cause a problem. So if you're watching this and you've started on 200 milligrams a week, it doesn't mean to second guess your provider or go back. It just meant that for me, when I looked at people who were responding on average, which is what you get when you just work with enough people, I found that 140 to 150 milligrams a week was a good starting dose because that generally took people to basically the top, well, just in, in terms of, because we all use different numbers, about the top of the reference range or just over for total testosterone which at eight to 12 weeks is a good place to start. Um, a lot of the time we titrate it up, but usually that's double to quadruple where the individual was eight to 12 weeks prior, which is plenty to start with. Um, and then I prefer to titrate up very gradually over six to 12 months. So, and this is all detailed in the book, but the reason why I like 150 or 140 to start with is because if we do daily shots, 20 milligrams a day, 140 a week. If we do twice a week shots, 150 milligrams, which is 75 milligrams twice a week. If we do three times a week shots, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then it's 50 milligrams, 0.2 of a mil three times a week. So 140 to 150 milligrams a week is how I start people off. And then I will generally titrate the dose up by five to 10 milligrams per shot. So it's just that that's the easiest amount to adjust on the insulin syringe. So if they're doing you know two shots a week, we want to bump it up, cool, move it up by five to 10 milligrams per shot. If they're doing daily shots and, and the dose has come in a bit low, we'll go from 140 to 175 a week. So 20 to 25 milligrams per day. Um, so I prefer to start people more at kind of like, it, it's basically about you're throwing a dart at the dartboard, but everyone's bullseye is going to be different and the darts are going to be a bit different and the board's different. It's all a bit different. But I find that 140 to 150 milligrams is, is going to get me the closest to the bullseye if I give it to 100 guys. And now... Some guys are just going to shoot them through the roof. Some guys are just going to barely move them enough. You know, we are going to get hyper and hyper responders. But in general, I find that that works well. And then I prefer to titrate up. The issue is that if you take someone's levels too high, too quick, they'll get side effects. And that will generally be acne, cranked up central nervous system, water retention, mood issues. Um, and depending on people's baseline mental health, that can cause a bunch of problems. So I like to frame it to the individual as about giving your body time to adjust puberty takes time, change takes time. I think a lot of people are in a real rush to kind of get to the end game. And guys, like it, it doesn't, like if, if you think a 1500 free tea is going to change your life and make you into a better man, it might do, but it won't do it in 12 weeks. It doesn't matter what the dose is, you're not going to resolve your low T symptoms in 12 weeks. So I prefer to put a good solid amount in there and then gradually titrate it up over six to 12 months. And I find that works well for most people.